This, this video, video is not, not intended, intended for, for children. children. Hello everyone, this is Isaac. This is Taren. And, and we, we are, are true, true masters, masters and morons. morons. Playing Pokemon Shield. That's Nuzla. the best hiding place he's had so far though, but after the rest of them it just doesn't it doesn't work. <laughs> yep. You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. I thought that said gateway at first. I will make a Stargate and escape. <laughs> I don't know why I'm running Pokemon matches for this wench, but because I'm clearly a genius. Dude, Stargate's in any game. Literally any game where there is a Stargate-like thing is so cool. I hear that. I agree with that. No Man's Sky has, like, mini portal things that are just always on, as well as actual Stargates that you need to, like, put specific codes in. Each planet that has a Stargate on it has its own code. Oh, that's actually awesome. Right? That, that's pretty cool. I love it so much. Do you have to memorize them and write them down, or does it do that for you? You have to write them down. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we have. you have my support still. I know you can keep going. Go on, do it. Wow. <laughs> Shut up. You're the best, Marnie! I don't... My voice, that's not... Okay. That is I don't not know. his I don't, voice. I don't think either of you were into that. I don't I don't think she was into the cheering, <laughs> and I don't, I don't think you really believed that was the best. I don't, I think, I think Tim and M was feeling uninspired. <laughs> no, I think Isaac needs some water, is what, is what happened there. <laughs> it's super effective, 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 effective. He's trying to do a sad, poor man's echo. Ugh. Sarah can actually give you an echo if you want. It's not necessary. <laughs> super effective, but yeah. Just gives you an echo for the rest of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding didn't work and battles didn't work. Only thing to do now is run. Too bad you have a bike. And yeah, so he gave me a total of like almost more than $13,000 because he kept running away and letting me battle him again. And then paying you for it. Seems like you've got me cornered. Too bad it's not a street behind me I could run away from. But I'm not going to give up. An earful from Miss Oleana is way worse than anything you lot can do. Despite the fact that you have magical monsters that could kill me, good luck catching me on the monorail. That's not the right way. Team Yell, go help. Wow. Team Yell, <laughs> go go find Hop. We'll corner that Lee staff member at the station together. And then he just looks at me and nods. Oh, I don't even get to control myself to go there. I just go. He was like, all right, let's go. Yes, sir. I will follow, or you will. That dick. I mean, I assume it's the one on the right because he's the one that just got there, but... <laughs> Curses! You did a cracking job of cornering that bad, bad League staff member, Timonim. Let me sing you a song of my people. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow that made it seem so much more sinister. <laughs> Let me sing you a song fitting of your rocking deeds. The song of my you people. A people live in darkness and rust and roofs with no reason. <laughs> We're nonsensical and terrifying because of it. <laughs> the only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. You are none of those things. Well, you are a singer. <laughs> Maybe I can't cheer someone on just with the tunes I play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. But still, the only thing I can do is sing, sing my humble song. That and carry this unwieldy monstrosity in <laughs> nothing and just whip it out. In my magic pocket. Pears! Go Pears! Go Pears! Well, I'm as bad as you are today. <laughs> hey, isn't that Piers? Why is he doing a street performance? You th I think you mean a station performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. Wow, we were looking at each other with our phones out. Now we're looking at the musician with our phones out. <laughs> I sense the music of my people. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Oh! Oh! Well, that didn't have the effect I thought it would. I thought it was just, they were just going to get all the attention on him. We got the key, Piers! We can take the monorail to Rose Tower now! I'm not stopping. I am the distraction. 
Eminem, hop, now's your chance. Go get out of here. Yes. It didn't have musical notes, so it turns out that wasn't singing. <laughs> <laughs> It's Rose like Tower, Taryn. Like it's got Rose Thorns. The only thorns. way to get there is with that monorail, but there's not actually any walls. In fact, all the walls go down to it, so it's easier to get to it than get out. <laughs> so, this is Rose Tower. There's his <laughs> voice. <laughs> Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. Can't see the top because you're not looking <laughs> up, <sir. laughs> So, what do we do? Team Yell is going is going to have their hands full holding up the bad bad league staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Timonim, what should we do? Let's go ahead! Good thinking. Well, let, let's go collect Lee and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge in the Champion Cup, because that's the most important thing right now. <laughs> Timonim, you cleared the way to Rose Tower. Now all you got to do is charge on ahead. Without us, apparently. An employee's an employee, I guess. Seems the the exec lady hid the monorail key in to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion hold hold up inside. Wonder what he's plotting. Oh, what's up? Didn't expect to see you. Times like this, when tensions and passion run high, remind me of Spikemouth in the old days. When there was no Some... roof over our poor town. <laughs> <laughs> Some right wild <laughs> concepts we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here. You better get going. I'll send some support your way with a yell. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stick around here and make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Crazy, what are you talking about? I'm not crazy with my gaydar. <laughs> Let's go, Devin. <laughs> it's so funny because this I is like such a you... British thing and then they bow. <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's see, what can we call that there? No, not that one. They're electric seeds. They do stuff. Uh, Japanglish. They're, they're Japanglish. I was, I was trying to figure out British, but Japanglish is a little bit better. What were you going to say? <laughs> I, I, I was like, Japanish. Britannese? No, I was like, I was like, Japanish? No, no, that's not it. Um, so, is is definitely better than Japanish, though. Um, Japanglish. Japanglish. There's a song about Japanglish. It feels Japanglish. the most. Japanglish. Whoa, it's huge in here. Like it's a giant tower or something. <laughs> what in the world is this place meant to be? A rose. Why any other name would be just as trampled by our footsteps right now? <laughs> Listen, Timonim, don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get to that roof, we have a bit of space, and we have a bit of space. We can Dynamax our Pokémon. Which is all well and good, but less certain as whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower is like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. If my name's not Eric, this is the wrong voice. Intruder alert. Uh, oh, this is Lena. All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. Except for that secretary, because clearly she's just going to sit there. <laughs> See, if Miss Orleana says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. Your name is Eric. It's Elijah. Elijah. We're gonna call that Eric's brother because he looks the same and has a similar name, and I don't want to change the voice now. <laughs> nah, out. man. It's Elijah, the tw the the clone of Eric. Yes, even better. Well, perhaps Eric is the clone of Elijah, but they tell them otherwise. Mm. Hear me, yes. tell them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. And she wants to play with you. Uh, I love you too, sweetie. Where am I? Oh, that there makes, me, my that makes ears me feel horrible. That makes me feel bad when I see that. I just haven't taken her to a, a camp in a while. That's all. I think we've been straight up story moding. Boom, 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 boom. You we know? have we have been pretty hardcore story moding. Having to give up my pocket money, losing means I'm back in the red. 
Well, then don't offer that much money. Yeah. Also, 4800 is your pocket money? My, my bonus, my dream of finally affording a house of my own. <laughs> Here's the thing, Taren. Think of Poké Dollars as yen. I know. So 48, 4,800 is like 40 bucks. That's more than I thought it was. Still. Uh, every hundred is approximately a dollar plus some or minus some. So. Okay. We need to speak. We need to speak with Chapman Rose. Tell us what he is. No. No. Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. I'm either being surprisingly helpful or clearly leading into a trap. The choice right. is yours to determine which it is. Right. All right. We need to Chairman Rose. Hold on, Lee. We're coming. Come on, Timonen. Let's crack on. What if I want to crack off? Rose. Oh, that does say Rose. Yes. In the weird uh, uh, Pokemon world language. In Japan, er, 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 uh, what would we call it? Japanese? Britannese. Britannese. This is taking ages. I cannot keep his voice straight. What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Simple. Pokemon battles, bitch. You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Gala League's gym challenge. Yet, I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in the Rose Tower. Behold, the gloriously high-tech elevators of Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles! They are constructed by the subsidiary Ma Macrocosmos Construction. We're hearing a lot about that company out of the blue recently. And I feel like no, we no, no, the heard last about one was Microcosmos. That's Macrocosmos. Uh, I thought they were all macro. No, haven't they been micro? I I know the woman who was paid to be there was from Macro. Oh, okay. Kufont ah, and Bronzong. Sheep. Kufont. Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let him take care of the Buffon. I'm going to murder the Bronzong. It's both of them. They're both weak to fire. Yeah, I still haven't gotten a Qfant, actually, and I really want them because they are adorable. They're horrifying. It's an elephant! All I see is, like, the nightmare pink elephants from Dumbo. <laughs> and I should specify, I haven't seen the new Dumbo. I'm talking about the old animated Dumbo, which I haven't seen since I was, like, 12. But those things were nightmarish. Elephants on parade. Parade, yeah, yeah. No, elephants can parade right the crap out of here. Burn them. Do it. <laughs> That's what I think of your elephant parade. <laughs> it is probably one of the most disturbing childhood uh, shows I've ever seen. Yeah, Dumbo, is that Bambi. One scene? To a lesser Bambi's extent, the Fox still and the less Hound. so. Fox and the Hound is messed up, though. Yes. But you have to be an adult to understand what it is. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos' construction when it comes to our dedication to our work. All right. Yeah, no, I, I would have to agree, because I remember loving that as a, as a when I was a kid. I've been defeated. I have little choice but to respectfully retreat by locking the doors behind me. Yet I must ask once more that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only, so that only the floor ascends. But that presents some danger, thus the presence of these walls constructed of light. You can thank Macrocosmos Constructions for providing this wonderful technology as well. Are, are you telling me that the, the... Oh, those walls, like, they're walking into. Maybe, Wait. I don't know. Wait, so the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from outside at any time? You mean like a normal elevator that you would find anywhere? <laughs> We're just trying to get to the top already! Our teams have been working themselves ragged for us. Let me heal them all up. I mean, other than the PP, Elizabeth's fine. <laughs> Take the PP. This is the only time that sentence will ever, ever be said. Mm, yeah, take that PP. Yeah. I will hurt you. <laughs> I hate myself. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now five hundred feet above the ground. I'm from the MC Insurance. Do you have a lift insurance policy? If you don't, you're gonna get wrecked. Was it lift or life? I don't know. I thought lift, but I could be wrong. I just assumed life, I, I don't know. 
clang. Oh, it's not even cling clang. It's just clang. <laughs> Come on, man. Clang is a. Steady. It's steel. It's more fire. Just kill things with fire. All straight fire. Oh yeah, I recognize the other one. Yeah, this dude, like, these guys, they're not throwing anything, but I'm going to murder you with fire, Pokemon. Like, it's just, I'm good. Take it, enjoy it, be happy. Also be happy that you're not a uh, insurance worker who has to dress like that. <laughs> I know, I'm an insurance worker who dresses like I go to a sporting events every day. And that's clearly my uniform. Oh, that's unfortunate. You get a bonus like, for oh, that? Man. No. No, I actually had to pay for the uniform myself. <laughs> and I have to handle all the uh, catching and training of the Pokemon that I'm required to use in this instance. <laughs> Basically, I'm getting wrecked. That's what's that's what's happening. Shift gear. Conk, 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 conk. That's either horrible or useless. Ah, total attack first. T nah, it's still not faster than uh, really? Elizabeth. Oh wow, it speed rose sharply even. Yeah, it's still level 48 versus um, oh, your Elizabeth. Oh, your speed stats did go up, huh? Elizabeth's a higher level, and uh, speed is kind of part of... Um, oh wow, she is wicked fast. Arcanines. Yeah. Nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work! You know, it's funny, that's what the last guy said. This building's well over 500 feet tall. <laughs> That's as tall around as 100 Machoke standing on top of each other. <laughs> Didn't she say that it's a thousand feet tall and we're only 500 feet off the ground? She did say over 500 feet just now. This building oh, okay. is over 500 feet tall. But yes, it's, like, it's a thousand feet evidently and we're at the halfway point. I'm quite terrified of heights actually, which is why I keep quoting height facts. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. Why should it? Supposedly you shouldn't be injured. They can stand in the middle of a stadium and be fine when a nuclear and blast goes off. Up we go. Oh yeah. Apparently Hop's talking at me. Come on, dude, talk at me. Why are you, why aren't you conversing? It's just me. This feels really one sided. You know, Tim and him, I I was playing this game called Destiny earlier, and there was this uh, <laughs> strike I did just before we started playing today, and I had an elevator just like this that you go up levels and levels and levels, <laughs> and it's just the floor moving all on its own. There, that's You're nearly to the top, but you'll not be meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies doing my job for the lofty Macros Cosmos Air. So you're a pilot? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Did they just waggle their fingers at you? Uh-uh-uh. You're not going to beat me. Is that that? It is. Uh, oh. Yeah. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. I mean, everything else has been weak to fire. Is it weak to fire? What's its name? I can't look. Stunfisk. Stunfisk. I'm like, I didn't see its name. It is super effective when it, when beaten by fire. Fuck you. And it's not you called Stunfisk. You stupid fish. S-T-U-N-F-I-S-K. Uh, is there a Galar version Fisk. or something? Yeah. Oh. Because the normal one is ground electric. Yeah, no, it's a uh, it's the Galar version. Oh, there is a separate one. Oh yeah, ground steel. Oh, those are two very. It switches entirely. It goes from being ground electric to ground steel. Those are two very <laughs> different types of Pokemon. And yet, it's a fish. I'd also just like to say I'm so happy that you killed it with fire. I know. Our eternal vengeance shines through. <laughs> That was for you, Gene! Not Eugene, but, you know, Gene. It was for you, <laughs> comma, Gene. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Nobody can beat Macro Cosmos's air, Cosmos Air when it comes to our dedication to our work. You ever get that lonely? You ever get that floaty feeling when a lift is going up? Sorry, yes. he's really angry when he says that. You ever get that floaty feeling when your lift goes up? Don't you presume to meet the chairman? You're not on the same level as such a great man. We know we're like at least halfway down the tower still. Like you beat we know me we're not joke. on the same level. <laughs> you beat me to the joke. <laughs> <laughs>
You must know that in high rises such as this one, the higher up you go, the more important people think they are. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even need to real read the real line. We don't even need to read the real line. <laughs> Chairman Rose is at the top of the top, not just of this tower, but of all Galar. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp. Let's do this. Always with the glowing walls, and now I just stand there impressively. I am the Vegeta to your Goku. Yeah. Dun dun. Oh, I oh. can move. <laughs> I, I, too, I just, it looked like it was a cutscene waiting to happen. Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space. Here, nearly a thousand feet above the Earth. So, you got through all the special staff I had ordered to stop you. I'm gonna shank you now. <laughs> With an actual knife. <laughs> I would expect nothing less of trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I am afraid it is now time for you to go home. She just look. she looks like a, uh... Tim Burton character, like a claymation Tim Burton character, <laughs> that horrifying face. Because I will not allow oh anyone to disturb gosh! the great Chairman Rose. She got even more freaking. Uh, oh my gosh. You shall be first, Tim and M. If I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, no. She's a fucking psycho! She went from a little Tim Burton-y to full-on straight Nightmare for <laughs> Christmas Tim Burton. Whoa! That... Sweet gosh! Yeah, though. Like, for real. Yeah, just she's a freaking psycho, dude. And also that's just it. There's a reason it was like episode two or three. I had you look something up and I'm like, and I told you not to look her up. My, how cheeky to do such a thing as to hurt my partner. Yeah, I had gotten the definite between you and Sarah in the game itself. I'd definitely gotten the a serious a villain vibe, but yeah, holy gosh. But yeah, she's even got the got the Leon floaty floaty wind for no reason thing going on because it's not affecting. I'm kind of sad though because she loses the crazy eyes during the battle. Well, she every time she speaks she does it, but yeah, she just that's not she doesn't have resting crazy face. She has just when she actually speaks. Really, Aqua Ring? Can you just not? Is that one of those that auto protects? No, it's heal. Okay, cool. Milo took fainted. I'm like, if it survived that, it would have healed and it would just be annoying. Ah! Oh, right. That attack does recoil. Forgot about that. Did you get hit at all, or was that all your recoil? That was all my recoil. Gee, money Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, he's coming out! He's gonna mess with you, psycho lady. <laughs> I'm gonna take that snipe straight through your Pokemon and into your face. Snipe shot. Snipe bitch. shot. <laughs> Pew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that feels like one of those Pokemon people make weird drawings of. Just looking at it. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Although actually, I'm betting. Come to think of it, it's probably all Pokemon at this point. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap Red Riot. Oh, little Red Riot. I guess not so little Red Riot anymore. Nah, it's Big Riot. He a good boy. The only centipede that is likable. I I love, and I know I've said this before, but that is my favorite Pokemon from this generation. Um, Amusingly, the all damage. of those are good. I is just that, wanted to see which one does the most damage. I was say, the crazy green laser? It is. <laughs> 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 I love your crazy green bug laser. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> mega, mega, possibly sonic laser of doom, death, and destruction. Garbodor. Oh, Garbodor. Oh, no. I forgot that she used this. This is my last Pokemon? Seriously? Olenia's gotta finish this. 
fucking psychopath. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that a... Yeah. Is that a garbage cookie? That's a pile of garbage. It's literally a pile of garbage. It's it's a garbage bag that got overflown and uh, uh, exploded out and gained sentience. Okay. That's almost as horrifying as its trainer. Almost. Yeah, and you haven't even seen it yet. Oh, right. It's gonna check Antimax, isn't it? Yeah. What is the thing we have to do to get the cool version of him Dynamax? I don't know. I think I'll well, treat you to something truly spectacular. A Gigantamax at Rose Tower. I would assume it's something to do with the expansions. I just don't know. You don't, I haven't actually played any of the expansions yet, even though it's out. You don't get to hug things like that while wearing that face. It is now a giant mountain of garbage. Complete with toy boats and... Toy planes. Of course, that Max makes it look. Geyser. The, the toys make it look less gross. We That's all cool. know those should be big piles of shit and. I mean. Like beds and stuff. Beds. Max Quake. I mean, less gross. Less horrifying is one interpretation. Oh. Okay. Is That's it more right. horrifying to you because it's a toy boat the size of a real boat? I don't know, it's just, it, it has a creep look to it. Like, there's a seriously sketchy look to that because it's got the toys and things. I think it's because it's, it like, it looks like it's trying Come to be cute. Come hug me, children. I have toys. Exactly. Like, it looks like it's trying to lure children in to devour them. <laughs> Wouldn't Which surprise me. Pokemon for. has some fucked up stuff, man. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, Oshihi. Oh shit, he is totally fine. <laughs> <sighs> I like the depressed look in the rain you created. Wasn't able to win. Olinia, you really are a hopeless woman. You're a bipolar woman. I don't know about hopeless. But holy crap. Oh, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There is nothing what to be done now. What did you just do? Typical Timonim, you and Arcanine are unstoppable! Queen Damn straight. Elizabeth II. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. I feel strangely like the villain in this picture. Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already, and still you fail to understand what's at stake. You, who is supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day gonna make? My duty as champion isn't this, this madness. It's to carry out that championship match. That's what Galar wants. And what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. Yeah, like what, 20 some odd episodes? <laughs> no, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing! Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretching out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy, so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years! Fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I give my word, I'll help you with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Because, to be real, while he makes a wonderful point and I'm glad he's looking to the future, he did not provide a reason that he can't wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Lee, you never showed when you were supposed to go, so I was... 
You never showed when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something bad had happened. And now you were just standing here. Well, we battled somebody. 20 feet away. <laughs> Pierce With and Manny. Gigantamaxed Pokemon. <laughs> you can't possibly have missed it, bro. <laughs> Pierce and Manny and all those Team Yellow Oddballs, they all helped us out to get here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Or answer sometimes, each other's questions. <laughs> or sometimes, sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop. Dim and dim. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. Stare. Yeah. And now, if you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose. And I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one for the history books. Like everyone else, my voice is going everywhere because I'm bad at this, apparently. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We. No. I. Am going to change the course of history. The next evening. The next. So that's what the batch didn't happen the same day. No wonder he's getting mad. <laughs> this is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. <laughs> that's great. Challenger Tim and M. The finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't learn your yes lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his truce and his trusty Cinderace, I'll be happy to give you one! You literally never pulled out Cinderace. That's not my fault. No, wait, please. I'm not like those other League staff. I'm a good one, if I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miscellanea, Miscellanea can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman. <laughs> with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of League staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. I assure you with my word and nothing else. <laughs> well, that's what she says, queer eye. I guess we trust her then, yeah, Tim and him? Like the the whole like the side eye, like hmm. Is the that what that term is? Ray, huh. That's a term for it. It's probably not huh. the most common one, but it's the one that came to mind in the middle of sentence creation. Okay. I guess we we'll trust her then, yeah, Tim and him. Let's go. I can't wait another minute. I don't know why I stuck my I fingers. Can. Would you like me to show you the way to the stadium? No! no! Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> we need to, I want, I need to end this episode. Understood. Come talk to me again if you need any help, or use one of the flying taxis out front. That's right. Fly to that stadium. Uh, it's like a half block away. All right, everyone. You can't thank you ride so your bicycle for, right now. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you want to see more of this or any other Let's Play lore, etc., let us know what it is you want to see in the comments down below. This ran a little long. Sorry about that, but hope you enjoyed it anyway. In the meantime, this has been... True, True Masters, Masters and Morons, and morons signing, signing off. off. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more like it, hit that subscribe orb. To see our last Let's Play, click or tap the link on the right. For our last lore video, click the link on the left. Thank you to all of our patrons for making these videos possible. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching, and, and we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.